friends my name is chevir and today we are going to discuss about the one of the example of the finite element method in which the element is having gap between the fixed support and the elementary last mounting condition so here it is provided 0.5 and gap is provided so this is main uh, uh, specific uh, example of finite element method that we are going to discuss now in which the area is given square uh, millimeter square 15 mm square 150 150 length after 150 length what 90 kilo newton load is acting on the body so uh, we need to find out nodal displacement stress and support reaction here e is given young's modulus of elasticity which is 80 uh, multiplied by 10 raised to 3 mega pascal which is also uh, if the uh, unit is converted in terms of newton per millimeter square it can term as a mega pascal okay i am converting this element into a spring element which is having two springs k1 and k2 and one force is acting in, in between that and which is having a fixed support after some gap it is 0.5 and actually so by using the elimination approach i am uh, putting the equation that k1 minus k1 minus k1 k1 k2 minus k2 minus k2 k2 q1 q2 q3 is equal to So by using elimination approach, the Q1 means the fixed support at point number one should be zero. So that's why we need to deduct the first row and the first column from the stiffness matrix. So after eliminating the first row and the first column, what is the matrix remaining? That is K1 plus K2 minus K2 minus K2 K2 Q2 Q3 F1 uh, F2 and F3. Now the value of F2 would be uh, here it is mentioned. Uh, 90 kilo newton means 90 multiplied by 10 raised to 3 newton and q2 q3 we need to find out a value of f3 would be zero as we are assuming that it is a fixed support so k1 value would be a1 e1 divided by l1 where a1 is equal to square 15 mm e1 is equal to 80 multiplied by 10 raised to 3 newton per millimeter square we need to convert it into newton per meter square by multiplying it with the 10 raised to minus 6 Okay, 10 to 6 mega pascal. So we need to uh, multiply it also with the 10 to 6. So it will be 80 multiplied by 10 to 9. Ultimately, divided by L1. L1 and L2 are same, which is 150 length that comes from here. So uh, K1 and K2 values are known here. F2 and F3 values are known here. Only thing we are having two equations: K1 plus K2 into Q2 minus K2 into Q3 is equal to F2. One equation. And minus k2 into q2 plus k2 into q3 is equal to f3. That is another equation. So two equation, two unknowns. We are able to find out the value of q2 and q3, which is 0.75 and 0.75 millimeter. But actually, the gap is of 0.5 millimeter. It means after 0.5 elongation in the x direction, the support, the fixed support, will oppose the reaction on the body. Correct. So. the further we need to do one calculation in which we need to take q3 is equal to 0.5 mm now because the q3 the maximum value of uh, elongation at node number 3 is 0.5 so we need to take q3 is equal to 0.5 here and we need to find out how much support reaction or how much force is acting on the body at node number 3 so putting that value k1 and k2 values are known here the q1 q2 and Q3 values are as per the given data. Q1 is equal to zero. Q2 we are, we are not knowing the value of Q2, but Q3 is equal to 0.5, and F2 is equal to by default the uh, 90 kilo newton weight uh, load acting on the body. So K1, K2 are known. So this matrix is known. Q1 is equal to zero. Q2 we need to find out. Q3 value is equal to 0.5. F1 F2 and F3 where F1 is equal to 0 because of the fixed support F2 is equal to 90 kN and F3 value we need to find it out so from that equation F3 value is equal to minus 15 into 10 to 3 N okay so now stress is equal to e into b into q b is equal to 1 upon l e minus 1 1 q is equal to q1 q2 for uh, stress of the first element and q is equal to q2 q3 which is only the difference in these two equations for the second element Reaction is equal to K into Q minus F, where uh, K means R one is equal to the first row, the first row, the K one into Q one minus K one into Q two, zero into Q three minus F one, 
then R3 is equal to uh, 0 into Q1 minus K2 into Q2 plus K2 into Q3 minus F3 which governs the R1 and R2 equations here. Okay, uh, this is uh, for the elimination approach to in order to find out the values by using elimination approach. Now let's discuss about the penalty approach. What is the difference, main difference in the penalty approach? The stiffness matrix remains the same. Only thing is we need to add C here. Now what is C? C is equal to maximum Kij multiplied by 10 raised to 4. Now what is maximum Kij? Let's look at here. If the stiffness matrix, if the stiffness matrix, I am assuming that this kind of matrix will generate, it is not the actual data of this example, but generally for the understanding purpose, what is maximum Kij? So it means if this kind of matrix is generated 1 minus 1 1, so 1 2 minus 1 0 minus 1 mi plus 1. So what is the maximum value out of this matrix is 2. So we need to take uh, maximum Kij is equal to 2. So maximum Kij is equal to 2 multiplied by 10 to 4. So that, that should be uh, find it out by using this matrix as well. Okay. Now Q3 is equal to 0.5. Okay, and F3 is equal to, now this is the main condition, F3 is equal to F3 days plus C into L3. F3 days means if uh, suppose some load acting on the fixed support, if, if it is given in the data initially, then we need to take something here. But as there is no load acting in the fixed support right now, so this F3 days is equal to 0. So what we need to take, C, F3 is equal to C into L3, where what is F3? A3 is equal to 0.5 the gap at the point at that node and reaction the sigma remain value remains same sigma is equal to e into b into q where e is the youngest modulus of elasticity b is equal to 1 upon le minus 1 1 and q is equal to q1 and q2 for first element q2 and q3 for second element reaction would be minus c into q minus a a is the gap value so minus c c is this value and Q is equal to for first element Q1 minus A1. A1 is equal to 0 because no gap is provided at node number 1. But there is a gap provided at node number 3. So minus C into Q3 minus A3. So A3 value is 0.5. And Q3 value will be found out by after this equation which is 0.5 actually. So this is how this uh, if uh, there is some gap is given in case of finite element method. Then you need to solve this example. In this manner but mind well if initially the value of q3 would be less than 0.5 then we do not do not have any kind of objection on it because uh, less than 0.5 it can elongate within this gap period but if it is more than 0.5 which is generally happen whenever this kind of example example is asked in the examination at that time you need to provide this further explanation in order to find out the value of f3 so that's it. If you are having any questions, any doubt, or if you are having any real practical problem related to this theory, please, please, please share your comment. I will be there and I will try to solve it as 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 much as I as much as I can possible. Thank you. Thank you very much.